not as hoarse as a woman. Plenty of women, Jack! Well, that doesn't mean they're any good. It's too late. Celebrity organ. Will our mystery guest sign in, please? Welcome, T. Ready for your first question? I have mine. What is your main job? I do. Bless you. Thank you very much. So, what is your blood type? <laughs> Why is biting and chewing so important? You must grind up food so it can be digested. Stick out your neck and I'll show you. Uh, uh, can you tell our viewers how to take care of their teeth? Now brush and floss twice a day and bite the dentist twice a year. <laughs> My little girl. What, what, uh, what should our viewers eat to build strong teeth? Eat a variety. Fruit, vegetables, whole grains, dairy products, blood. Blood. I can't know who you are. And if you ever eat sweet stuff, brush immediately. It lays on your teeth and rots them. Why, why can't I take my eyes off Because of you? I have such strong, clean, attractive teeth. Take care of your teeth. A great way to be a powerhouse. Leave your windows open and we'll have a bite together. <laughs> Six seconds. How'd I do, Mrs. Andrews? Pretty good, Angie. Thirty-six seconds. So, young lady, you want a ride? How does this Saturday sound? Fantastic. Janet, you can't be serious. I can do it, Mr. Peterson. Look, Janet, if you let Tom ride Big Devil, we have a chance of beating this moon dancer, but with this girl... George, I want to give this rider a chance. I think she can win. Sorry, Tom. Next time, okay? You're looking pretty strong there, Angie. He has something about Moon Dancer. Where? 36, 35, 36.1, 36 seconds flat. Same workout time as Big Devil. Angie's right, it's a two horse race. Get off her case. I just want to see what she can do, all right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. That's Angie. Oh, that's very good, Angie. Very good. Only I think you're supposed to ride a horse sitting up. The only thing you know about horses is that they have four legs. Oh, yeah. Well, I also know that they shouldn't run races with girls on their backs. How strong does this trainer want you to be, Angie? I could walk into his office carrying a horse and I wouldn't be strong enough. Is he really that bad? Come out to the track tomorrow and see for yourself. Here, 
did you get out of there? It's all bridle that horse. There's something really wrong. I don't understand, Mr. Peterson. There's something wrong with Big Devil. Is that so? He's fine, George. I've thought of that horse a hundred times. You know that. Look, Angie, stop making excuses for yourself, will you? Mr. If you can't cut it, you won't ride, and that's all there is to it. Mr. Now, Peterson. Now, look, just get yourself out in the track in ten minutes for training. Did you ever think that maybe she's just not good enough? Well, she's on fine riding for other trainers, Tony. But have you ever seen No. Well, have you ever seen any girl riding a horse race? There are plenty of women jockeys. Well, that doesn't mean they're any good. All I know is Peterson is doing everything he can to make Angie look bad. Two days to the race and no rider. That girl's gonna lose. Oh, well, maybe you make her nervous, George. She knows how you feel about women jockeys. Nervous? This is a pressure business. If you can't stand the heat, then stay out of the kitchen. Yes, I know, George. Well, all right, let's see if she can stand the pressure. Set up a final workout for tomorrow morning. I'll be there. If she does badly, you can put Tom back in the race. Last chance, Tony, so don't bug her. All I know is if she can ride a horse, I can bake a cake. You <laughs> just have to eat your words when she rides and wins. No girl should be allowed at the track. Hey, Big Devil. How are you doing? Oh, that's a great mm. Let's see if Angie's at the track. Look okay. You guys go ahead. I'll stay here with Big Devil. You want to stay with me, Pepper? Oh, I would, except, except for every time I get near the... Hello! I sneeze. She ain't here, so beat it. Yes, sir. Thanks. Oh, 
Okay, let's get this over with. Uh, waiting for one for long and running for three. A great big cake. And you know what you can do with that cake, Tony. Something blinded the horse. That ever happened to you, Tom? Come on, Angie. The sun shines during most races. He would say anything to get me off the horse, Mrs. Andrews. Just what are you accusing me of? You wouldn't give a girl a chance if she won the Kentucky Derby. She's right! Lolo, what are you doing? Lolo! I thought I told you to beat it. Mrs. Andrews, the things that have been happening to Angie were not accidents. Not accidents? What are you talking about? I found this in Big Devil's stall. The horse was drugged, don't you see? That's why he ran so slow yesterday. And that's not all. He was tortured with red pepper. <laughs> that's why Angie couldn't keep control of the horse. He had red pepper in his mouth or up his nose or something. And whose pepper so handkerchief is this? T.P. George Peterson. <laughs> Janet, the vet was here a couple of days ago to give Big Devil his shots. And I put the red pepper paste on George's handkerchief. I wrapped it around that bandage we had on Big Devil's leg, remember, to keep him from biting it off. Well, I'm not finished. Mr. Peterson fed the horse something today, just before the trouble. It must have been drugs. Drugs? Sugar cubes. Now, you second-rate Perry Mason, get out of here. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Angie. Tom, will you ride Big Devil tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, Angie. and finally got me out of the race. A salute to our Cub Scout friends in Dalton, Massachusetts for a first-class Olympic fitness program. Stay tuned. Powerhouse will be right back. This week, Accident of the Week goes to Roxbury, New Jersey, where August Magro III is about to climb Hazard Peak. Have you checked for hidden dangers, Augie? I have studied the cliff. Now Augie checks his equipment. Good work, Augie. And he's off. George! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like Augie never learned how to climb. The judges scores. And from Cuba. Zero point to five. 
And now a word from our new chimp. And there you have it. This is not Howard Cosell. When doing something risky, always check your skill. A great way to be a powerhouse. Aren't you glad we're young enough to do things? I don't ever want to get old. So you think being old means the fun is over? Well, not if you're smart. <laughs> I'll show you the way to do things today that will last your whole life long. If you open your mind, there's so much to find that will keep you going strong. You save yourself sorrow to go for tomorrow. You don't have to wait to stop feeling great. So start right away to do things today that will last your whole life long. What happened? I don't know. Want to dance? Yeah. 